Welcome. So what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about I, and not this I, but the I that has this nice little curvature with it. So when we're getting to I, and when we're talking about imaginary and complex numbers, so imaginary I, all right, but we're going to get more detailed uh, with imaginary units uh, when talking about complex numbers. But first of all, I just want to at least introduce the I unit, which we call the imaginary unit. And the way that the imaginary unit comes from is if we had a quadratic equation, let's say I had x squared equals 4. Well, to go ahead and solve this, we would make sure that we take the square root on both sides. You could say that x would equal plus or minus 2. Okay. Now, when dealing with uh, I, let's say I have a quadratic equation which equals negative 1. Now, in this case, we know that positive 2 times positive 2 equals 4, and negative 2 times negative 2 would equal 4. So if I was going to solve this quadratic equation, I would do the same thing, and then x would equal plus or minus. However, we have a problem when we come to this because we know that there's not any two numbers that are exactly the same with the same sign, positive or negative, that's going to multiply to give us negative 1. So therefore, what we do is we introduce i. And i is going to represent this imaginary unit, which we're going to be in our uh, complex number system. So we're going to be breaking up into a new number system that is going to include the imaginary unit. So that's just a brief little overview of what i is. We're going to get into how we can apply i, and how also how we can rewrite it as far as into complex numbers, add, subtract, multiply, and all the good stuff. Thanks.